to Mega Joanna Space Activist. And now, for those for those who don't know me, my name is Mega Joanna, and just recently I got an ambassadorship for the mission of Zyrus Rex. And Zyrus Rex stands for Origin Spectral Information Resource Identification Regular Explorer. And the X is silent. Today, we're going to be talking about the Yarkovsky effect. Hang on, what's the Yarkovsky effect? Well, the Yarkovsky effect is actually the effect of ordinary sunlight. This sunlight contains photons. These photons actually produce a force onto the asteroid, which is, in this case, asteroid Bennu. So, what Zaros Rex is trying to prevent a potentially hazardous asteroid which has a chance of impacting Earth in 2175 or 2196 in both of those dates. So these photons actually produce a force on the asteroid. So they either absorb it or bounce it off. These photons here are actually from the normal rays of sunlight. If they Let's say our asteroid is going like this. If the Yarkovsky effect only affects on this side, it could be decreasing its speed. But if the Yarkovsky effect comes from the other side, it could be increasing its speed. So, if we can calculate the effect of the Yarkovsky effect in 2020, where the Osiris Rex takes an arm will collect a sample from Bennu. Then they can see the amount of photons on asteroid Bennu and then they could calculate if Osiris Rex will impact Earth. I mean Bennu will impact Earth. So Bennu source. And this is Bennu. And then this is Osiris Rex. In 2013, an asteroid, or oh, much smaller asteroid than Bennu, impacted Earth. And as you can see here, it was actually on camera. But, asteroids aren't this dangerous. If you just get to know them. After like all these, in all these 500,000 asteroids, only a thousand are actually known to be potentially hazardous. And Bennu is a potentially hazardous asteroid. So Bennu could impact Earth, as I said. And this, of course, as I said, is what NASA wants to start. So, as I said, if, if they calculate the Yakovsky effect on the asteroid, they could see if it will impact the Earth. And when that time comes, they know for sure. So, a special thanks to NASA University of Arizona and Lockheed Martin. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a like and comment and subscribe. And as you know, thanks for watching.